hi everyone welcome to our youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can make automation in your configuration files in the best way there are a couple of ways we can do configuration file let's say have a text file and read the text file using read text read csv options okay and maybe we can have a xml file but there are one thing which is very easy to have a configuration file very convenient and it is one of the best approach to have a configuration file i'll show you how you can do that it's very tricky and most of the people who are even practicing automation anywhere from past three years or four years maybe five years they even don't aware of that or such options so so let me show you that trick and the best way you can have a configuration files okay so let's fire up automation anyway okay so let's create a new task as i am using automation anywhere 11 and upper version so instead of a task editor you can see the options workbench which is renamed from task editor in 11 and higher editions okay till 2000 uh, 2000 uh, mid of 2000 release which is like a uh, automation anywhere 10.7 versions uh, all our task editor was there and now it's became workbench okay everything is same just name changed don't confuse okay so let me show you how you can do the configuration files and configuring variables and assign the value directly from the configuration file very easy very straightforward no manual changes nothing okay let's have a variable Uh, input path okay so what you have to do is you have to select value by default the selected value is uh, selected item is value and we have to select read from text file okay so you have to give a text file path here so let me go to my process folder okay this is my process folder rpa solutions is my root directory configuration file is the, is the sub directory and let's call it config files file okay so what you have to do is you have to have this variable in a configuration file okay i just copy it and then place a equal to that's all and now place your value whatever value you want to assign for the first time that value assignment from configuration file you can place it here let's say blah blah path okay So I have to give this path to my bot, copy path, placed here, so far so good, so it should not have a double quote, okay. okay so i missed as a t extension great just to make sure i have placed the path correctly let's hit save let's open a mass box just to make sure the value is being read from the configuration file i'll place my variable name let's make it more understandable input path is this 
okay let's run it save it test task okay blah blah path is here let's cross check i'll keep a path here now let's make a input path file path great so far so good okay let's run the same task i did not make any change inside the code so you can see it's coming here so this is how you can make the configuration file you can have n number of variable you need to maintain a new lines here every time okay just keep it equal to after your variable and place your value that's all you have to do very easy very convenient no manual changes once you have the configuration file one of the coolest idea to do that but the limitation of having a configuration file like that is you cannot have a variable inside a value of this configuration file let's say if you want to have it as a system variable let's say call username here so you cannot have it here okay so in that case you have to have a configuration file like this and then parse something else you have to do but whatever the generic path is there like this or maybe some other value let's say initial value b initial value initial value like that most of the case will have like that or maybe b root url then you can place root url let's say www.google.com so you can have a variable like root variable root url okay let's stop it let's click ok let's edit the task okay let's paste it sorry i need to copy the path again copy path cool okay okay seems i forget to hit save yep it's fine so now i'll keep the root url as well url root url awesome let's run again yep my root url is google.com okay by mistake i placed triple o okay hope this video is informative to you you have some learning how you can build a configuration file it's tricky and it's good way to do that thank you keep watching our videos on youtube thank you